Quincy, California. My user is children with autistic disorders and tackling the issues that they have with communication. I have a twin brother who has an autistic disorder and it's easy to relate to the issues that come up or how is someone with these disorders going to relate to a technological device? Um, what do they want out of it? And it turns out they want a lot of the same things that we want. They just want something that looks cool and something that is dependable that they can use as a tool to be more independent, be more proactive. So the solution I'm working towards is a device that is encompassed in one object that you can take and go with you and can be on your person at all times. And considering the extra physical sensitivity that people with autistic disorders can have, I'm trying to make something that can be worn in a lot of different orientations, can be customizable, can be more comfortable or more discreet. I ended up making a form that would work best with a fabric wrapped around so that you could cradle it maybe in a scarf, around a belt, and trying to keep the corners pretty round to uh, just keep a lower profile and just making sure I can keep it as small as I can because nobody wants a big clunky thing on their body. Like an example would be if you need to be waiting in a line and you might forget or you might not understand the situation or you need to be paying attention. In school you need to be paying attention to a casual social conversa conversation. Uh, the Sixth Sense device can be there to be a prompt, to be some kind of a guide into what you need to be doing. Say you're watching a movie and you're having trouble understanding what's going on in the movie and it's not really a situation where you can just go to the person next to you and ask questions for the full 90 minutes that you're watching the movie. Um, but hopefully this device could have applications where it can present you information in a discreet way that is only accessible to you and doesn't bother the people around you.